Lesson in Prayer on Monday, the 4th of January. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. You laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, Creator of heaven and earth. To you be praise and glory forever as your living word, eternal in heaven, assumed the frailty of our mortal flesh. May the light of your love be born in us, to fill our hearts with joy as we sing. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exalt in my God. You had clothed me with the garments of salvation and has covered me with the cloak of integrity. As the bridegroom decks himself with a garland, as a bride adorns herself with, with her jewels, for as the earth puts forth her blossom, as the seeds in the garden spring up, so shall God make righteousness and praise blossom before all the nations. For Zion's sake I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until her deliverance shines out like the dawn, and her salvation as a burning torch. The nations shall see your deliverance, and the rulers shall see your glory. Then you shall be called by a new name, which the mouth of God will give. You shall be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem in the hand of your God. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 89, verses 1 to 37. My song shall always be of the loving kindness of the Lord. With my mouth will I proclaim your faithfulness throughout all generations. I will declare that your love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness as firm as the heavens. For you said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. Your seed will I establish forever, and build up your throne for all generations. The heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who among the clouds can be compared to the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the host of heaven? A God feared in the council of the holy ones, great and terrible above all those around about him. Who is like you? Lord God of hosts, mighty Lord, your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the raging of the sea. You still its wave when they arise. You crushed Rahab with a deadly wind and scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. Yours are the heavens. The earth also is yours. You established the world and all that fills it. You created the north and the south. Take Sabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand and high is your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before your face. Happy are the people who know the shout of triumph. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. In your name they rejoice all the day long and are exalted in your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength, and in your favour they lift up our heads. Truly the Lord is our shield. The Holy One of Israel is our King. You spoke once in a vision and said to your faithful people, I have set a youth above the mighty. I have raised a young man over the people. I have found David my servant, with my holy oil have I anointed him. My hand shall hold him fast, and my arm shall strengthen him. 
No enemy shall deceive him, nor any wicked person afflict him. I will strike down his foes before his face, and beat down those who that hate him. My truth also and my steadfast love shall be with him, and in my name shall his head be exalted. I will set his dominion upon the sea, and his right hand upon the rivers. He shall call to me, You are my Father, my rock and my God and the rock of my salvation. I will make him my firstborn, the most high above the kings of the earth. The love I have pledged to him will I keep forever, and my covenant will stand fast with him. His seed also will I make to endure forever and his throne is the days of heaven. But if his children forsake my law, and cease to walk in my judgments, if they break my statutes, and do not keep my commandments, I will punish their offences with a rod, and their sin with scourges. But I will not take from him my steadfast love, nor suffer my truth to fail. My covenant will I not break, nor alter what has gone out of my lips. Once for all have I sworn by my holiness, that I will not prove false to David. His seed shall endure for ever, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall stand fast for ever as the moon, the enduring witness of the heavens. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. On the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now standing there, there were six stone water jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water, and they filled them up to the brim. And he said, he said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the chief steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water that had become wine, and did not know where it had come from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, then the inferior wine after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his signs, in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. After this he went down to Capernaum with his mother and his brothers and his disciples, and they remained there for a few days. The word of life which was from the beginning, we proclaim to you, the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. The word of life which was from the beginning, that which we heard, which we saw with our eyes, and touched with our hands, we proclaim to you. For our fellowship is with the Father, and with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of life which was from the beginning, we proclaim to you. To us is born a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord, and all the heavenly hosts now sing, Glory to God in the highest. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, 
by the forgiveness of all their sins, in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. To us is born a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord, and all the heavenly hosts now sing, Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. Merciful Father, we give you thanks for this new day, the beginning of a working week. Be with everyone who's gone to work today after a Christmas break. Be with them in all that they do and the tasks that they undertake. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those suffering the uncertainty of lockdown, and what it means for schools, for school children, for those in work, and for those who miss members of family. Give us all certainty as we look forward to a time when we can get back to a normality we both miss and need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our church, for its life, and for what we do. May we proclaim the gospel of your Son, our Saviour, through everything that we do, think and say. Lord, in your mercy, hear our Almighty God, in the birth of your Son you have poured on us the new light of your incarnate word, and have shown us the fullness of your love. Help us to walk in his light and dwell in his love, that we may know the fullness of his joy, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, who has called us out of darkness into his marvellous light, bless us and fill us with peace. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.